Hello, Ana Maria. Good night. Good evening. You're connecting the audio. Okay, no problem. I've been waiting for you. Alejandra, hello. How are you? Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Only two connected. Okay. Let me see. Let me share my screen. The neighborhood has changed. Let's see if this is the content. Hello, I'm mm -hmm. we did it, yes. We did it, yes. Okay, just let me share the screen right now. Teacher, I'll be a listener. I'm going to the, I'm going into the bus. Okay, okay, Ana Maria, no problem. I got your message. Okay, welcome Jenny, welcome hot Catherine. Thank how, you. How are you today? I'm great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How are you, Catherine? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Very good. Very good, okay. Teacher, it's, um, solo una pregunta. Uh -huh. eh, cuando me metí, no parecía que estaba grabando. Sí. Que se estuviera grabando la, la clase. Si está grabando, siempre se graba. Ah, sí. sí. Ah, ok. Alejandra, voy camino a mi casa. Si me desconectas porque llevo poca carga en mi celular. Ok. Ok. Let's share the screen. We were eh, seeing the past, present, and future in the last class. And we will be eh, seeing today time contrasts. I think it's a combination of present, future, and past. Presented to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Oh God, what is this? Hello everyone, before you watch your video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon. There will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, People drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. 
This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago. And our verbs are in past. We use live and walk. Let's move on to the present. And here we use these days, today, or nowadays. And of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive to turn the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use. Just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expression. At that time, in the past, then. Present expression. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions in the next couple of years, next in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Hello, teacher. Tengo mal señor. Voy a inglés. Okay. Hello, everyone. Before you watch your video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. Okay, for time contrasts, we have a, the comparison between past, present, and future in this screen. You can see how the same uh, or is explaining about a topic that you can see clearly that you have a you have a difference so between the time the time frame. For example, in the past, you see. A few years ago, not many people lived here. So the verb is in past, is lived, because you are giving detail the uh, action happened a few years ago, so it's already past. And we can see uh, the other one, that is people used to shop at grocery stores, so used, is the verb in past and uh, there is an action. Here we have two verbs, but the main one is used. People used to shop at grocery stores. Then we have 50 years ago, so a lot of time ago, people walked everywhere. So the verb is in past. All three sentences are referring to uh, actions that happened in the past and they are not continuing in the present. So let's see the difference between pre uh, with the present. Present is something that is happening right now and is a continuous action or is just an action that we know is a general truth. For example, these days the population is growing so fast. This is present continuous, something that is happening right now and is not stopping. So today, people shop at supermarkets. This is a general truth. 
this is something that we know that is totally uh, true. So that that's why we are using simple present. The third one is nowadays people drive their cars instead. Again, we are using base form. Is the verb in the normal, in the basic uh, tense. So let's see the future. Soon there will be a lot of sh shopping malls. There, this is a possibility. This will be happening in a new will be happening in a new, in a near future. That is why we are using will be. The other sentence is in 20 years, so it's a really advanced future. People might buy groceries by computer. Might is a possibility. We don't know in 20 years what will be happening. We are just guessing. The other is in the future. People are going to use cars even more. Are going is a continuous action that will be performed in the future. So that is the difference in between the three uh, tenses. We can see clearly we have two ways of future. The other is present with two, uh, with two ways also, present continuous and simple present and the past that is just one tense. So let me see what else here to continue the, the video. Okay, time contrast is helping us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived. This is something that we can uh, con combine in different tenses. For example, is we have the same sentences, but we are making contrast. A few years ago, not many people lived here. People used to shop at grocery stores. 50 years ago, people walk, walked everywhere. These days, the population is growing so fast. Today, people shop at supermarkets. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. And in the future, people are going to use cars even more. This is just, you. This, uh, this, is our, this is using like a contrast a that we can verify everywhere. So I don't know how to appear this bar. Okay, so let me see. one sentence pretends. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expression. At that time, in the past, then. These expressions are to add uh, a this is to explain more in the sentence that we are giving to the, the to everyone that we are talking specifically in the past. We don't we when we are not just using the verb in the past. We are adding another expressions that uh, are a, a clear sign that we are in the past. For example, at that time, and that time means in aquel tiempo. In the past is en el pasado. And then significa entonces. Esas son como expresiones que nos van a dar como una, una pista de que estamos hablando en el pasado. Present expression. En el presente tenemos estas expresiones. Por ejemplo, currently es eh, como en es, eh, actualmente. Currently. In the meantime, significa como para mientras, para mientras, in the meantime, como en el, en el, eh, mientras eso sucede, esto otro está pasando también, se, se puede ocupar. Now significa ahora, o sea, no significa mañana ni ayer, sino que en este momento está pasando. Currently, in the meantime, now. 
future expressions. Para expresiones del futuro, nosotros tenemos, por ejemplo, podemos agregar in the next couple of years, I will have a baby, por ejemplo. Next, I will be finishing my degree and next I will study another language, por ejemplo. Es algo que va a suceder en el futuro. In the near future, I will be bilingual. En el futuro cercano, yo seré bilingüe. Son cosas que nos dan como, uh, aparte del verbo, ¿verdad? Aparte de estar usando auxiliares en, en, en futuro, esto nos ayuda a reafirmar que estamos hablando para acciones que van a ocurrir en ese tiempo. Let's see. Do you have any question or do you have any other expressions that you can use as present, past, and future uh, confirmation? Do you know another kind of expressions? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, a few is in the past. No, a few means unos pocos. Ah, okay. Thank you. Maybe maybe we use in the future uh, something like that uh, uh, in a few days, maybe. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? In, in a few days es como decir en unos pocos días. In a few days, I will go to the beach. Por ejemplo, digamos que voy a ir el fin de semana. Entonces yo digo, in a few, oh, por ejemplo, si vivo en Santana y ahí están mis papás. Y digo, in a few days, I will visit my parents. Lo voy a ir a ver en unos pocos días, pues no es que voy a ir de aquí a agosto, sino que va a ser más o menos en esta semana o el fin de semana. Es un futuro cercano. Quizá eso quería preguntar Katherine, ¿verdad? Eh, algo así, ajá, exacto. Ajá. También se puede decir within, within. Within es dentro de. Within, no sé si han oído esa expresión antes, within. No. Yeah. Aquí, within, así se escribe, within. Seguido, ¿verdad? Oh. Within, eso también lo pueden decir. Another expression that you have seen and want to see the translation or how are they used? No. No, teacher. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Ya vinimos nueve. Wow, qué bien. Qué bueno. Ahora vamos a seguir con esto. Vamos a seguir, sí. Ay, no, le eché otra vez. Ah, pero es que este lo hicimos con, con la chiquilla, con, con los con, Solo dos estuvimos, el dos o cuatro estuvieron el, el, el viernes. Only. Okay, let's move to 4.5. In this class, you will notice and practice intonation in a statements beginning with a time phrase. Also, at the end of the class, you will have time to practice and personalize phrases using different tenses. En esta clase se darán cuenta y practicarán entonación en oraciones al principio de la frase de tiempo. También al final de la misma tendrán tiempo para practicar y personalizar frases usando diferentes tiempos verbales. Let's see what is this verb to say. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, 
People use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. Okay, let's complete the expressions. Uh, try to imagine what would be the perfect complement to this. As a child, I used to. Cuando niño, yo. Solía, podría hacer eso. Entonces ahí va a empezar con un verbo después. El eh, used to es una expresión que es como eh, I used to, es como estaba acostumbrado a, algo así. And two years ago, I, hace dos años yo, también ahí nos sigue un verbo, ¿verdad? Que es una acción que yo salía a hacer hace dos años. In five years, I, En, ese es futuro, ¿verdad? En cinco años yo, dése cuenta que cuando está poniendo las expresiones, en algunas ocupa coma y en otras no ocupa coma, ¿verdad? Como una frase. Entonces voy a empezar yo. A ver, as a child, I used to draw a lot. Me gustaba dibujar bastante. <ríe> Two years ago, I was beginning a quarantine. Ah, no, ya íbamos a la mitad. I was in the middle of a quarantine. Hace dos años estábamos en cuarentena. In five years, I will be, um, let me see. In five years, okay. In five years, I will be with a new car. Primero Dios. <laughs> okay. Can you please complete the, the phrase and, and follow the instructions here? Who wants to be a volunteer? Me. <laughs> Who's me? Mario. Okay, Mario, can you please complete the sentences? Okay. As a child, I used to play football usually. Oh, play uh, soccer or play football? Ah, uh, soccer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I used to play soccer. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, two years ago, I I got married. <gasps> uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. In in five years, I we have a baby. <laughs> Yeah, I expect. Oh, okay. Have... <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess have two babies. Wow, too too much, too fast. <laughs> uh, how do you say gemelos? Uh, twins, twins. 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 Yeah. <laughs> twins. Uh, only one is twin, and gemelos is twins. Okay, twins. Okay, well. That is the plan. <laughs> I hope I hope you you make it. <laughs> okay. What about the plans of of Jenny? Um, as I shall, I used to ride a bike. Ride a bike. Okay. Two years ago, I I visit my sister in the United States. You visited. I do. I visited. Mm -hmm. I visited my sister in the United States. Oh, okay. Uh huh. In, in five, five years, years, I will be a new house. You will have a new house. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. I you. I want. I want that also. But I think yeah. I will do the car first. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, so what about uh, Isaiah? What about your dreams? What about your, your past actions? Good evening. Good evening. As a child, you used to? 
as a child, you used to uh, play football soccer. Uh -huh. Play. Okay, you were with Mario. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, two years ago, I uh -huh. I was. ¿Cómo se dice? Estaba un poco gordo. How do you say? I was a little bit fat. Two years ago, I was a little bit fat. Mm, okay. And in five years? In five years, I will have a house. No new house, sino una casa. No, no tengo. Ah, you will rent a new house. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think everyone is desiring a new house, <laughs> especially one that is not close to 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 dive away because of the rain. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you, Isaiah. Let's continue with uh, Catherine. As a child, you used to... Okay, as I shall used to wrote poems. poems? I don't understand what are you saying. Um, poemas? Poems. Poems, yes. Uh -huh. you, you were writing poems? Really? Uh, I'm out. In the past, yes. <laughs> ah, in the past, okay. <laughs> okay, and two years ago, you? I am. Um, What? <laughs> Two years I, ago. It, um, it exercise. exercise. Mm -hmm. You were exercising. I, about, I, I routine the exercise. You were, you did a routine of exercises. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm five, five years. years. I will. I bought um, my ha new house. You will buy a new house. Really? Yes. See, sí, but uh, I buy. See, sí. <laughs> wow. I'm five years. I buy um my new house. I will buy. Or you're I, saying, I'll buy. I will buy. Mm -hmm. I will buy a new house. Okay. And finally, Rocio, can you speak? Or are you in the in the micro bus? I think she's in the micro, in the micro bus. She's quiet. Let me see another one. Jose Jonathan. Not there. Okay, Alejandra. Not there. Ana Maria, are you in the microbus? Hi, teachers. Ah, hi, Jose Jonathan. Okay. I have a drink. <laughs> I'm listening to the TV. Okay, can you please complete the sentences as a child I used to? No. He got silent again. I think he cannot make it. Mm. Ah, and Ana Maria, can you please complete the sentences? Okay. Mm -hmm. As a child, um, I used to play with my toys. Oh, yeah, with Barbies. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Two years ago? Two years ago, 
I I go to work. I go. I work in my house. I go in my house. I work. Work. Ah, go I work. Yes, I work in my house. Caminaba en mi casa. No, I work. Ah, you worked in your house. Yes. Okay. Yes. In five years. I five years. I. I will. I will uh -huh. be. I will be. Mm -hmm. Buy my house. You will buy a house also? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> mm, I don't believe you. All of you will buy a house next year. <laughs> that is not possible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's possible, but mm, too strange. Okay, thank you, Ana Maria. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay, 4.7. In this class, you will listen to an audio and make the exercises. As you listen, you will develop skills in listening for main ideas. En esta clase escucharán un audio y realizarán un ejercicio. Mientras lo escucha, usted desarrollará habilidades auditivas para encontrar ideas. Que se me hace que no vamos a ir a eh, Google Chrome. ¿Por qué? Vamos a cambiar de pantallita. Listen exercise. Instructions. Listen to people discuss changes in their neighborhoods. Take the topic each person talks about. Escucha a las personas discutir cambios en sus vecindarios. Cheque el tema al que cada persona se refiere. Por lo que veo hay tres, dos mujeres y un hombre, ¿verdad? Que están hablando. Vamos a oír el audio. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, uh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60, exercise five, part B. Listen again, write down the chain. Uy, se fue al otro ejercicio que hay un part B. No, aquí no hay un part B. ¿Qué habrá pasado esto? Bueno, ¿de qué hablaba la primera señora, la primera chica? Este es a que mate para ustedes, porque es listening. 
Yep. <risa> ¿De, qué hablaba yeah. la, ¿De qué hablaba la primera mujer? A hearing again, please. Okay. Oh, hearing no is listening. Hearing es solo oír, pero listening es escuchar. Okay. okay. Let's move. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like... Uh-huh. Oye, ¿de qué hablaba la mujer? Uh, her living. ¿De qué? Donde ella vive. Pues sí, pero ¿de qué? <laughs> at the trees, at For the... Funny. Okay, so... At the trees. Look at the I, list of topics. Look at the list of topics. Uh, uh, I think... Uh, ¿Estaba hablando de población? No. No, no de transporte. No. no. ¿De familias? No. no. ¿Del ambiente? Yes. yes. Ok, so... Environment. About cities. Environment. Environment, yeah. She was saying the neighborhood has changed a lot because in the beginning there were not too much trees, too many trees, but now it's greener. Greener es más verde. Greener, más verde. Vamos a ver. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? ¿Cuánto tiempo ha vivido aquí? Oh, for over 20 years. Mm, casi por 20 años. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? ¿Y has visto muchos cambios durante ese tiempo? Oh, yes, quite a few. Oh, sí, unos cuantos. This is a much nicer place to live now than it. Este es un lugar más eh, como nice. <laughs> más como bonito para vivir que antes. Used to be. It's much como greener. Es When I first limpio. moved here, there weren't many Cuando me mudé la primera vez, trees around. Había, no, había muchos, few... eh, no había muchos árboles, pero alrededor de los últimos años, Years, the city has trees la ciudad ha plantado eh, árboles por todas partes. Made such a ha hecho una gran diferencia. Two. Ok, kids. So, ok, vamos a ver number two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Number two, ya, yo ya sé de qué estaba hablando el hombre, pero bueno, vamos a ponerlo otra vez. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, uh, I think they... What's happening here? Se murió. Oh. Vamos a darle refresh ni modo, estamos a hacer. Vaya, pero el tipo ahorita va hablando y dice, no, la verdad que, que ahí se necesita un carro, dice. Ese lo tiene que haber oído, porque eso está bien claro. Transporte. Ajá, ¿quién dijo? De transporte. Ajá, transportation. ¿Y qué dijo el chico ahí? Que como que va como en el bus, que debería de usar como el carro, algo así, medio entendí. Mm, no, él estaba diciendo más o menos como que él se tardaba un mundo en llegar y que cuando llegaba iba lleno. Ah. <ríe> Porque es parecido a la realidad de muchas veces. <ríe> Entonces, vamos a traducir al, aquí. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car. 
And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place. Two. How do you like living here? ¿Qué tanto te gusta vivir aquí? Well, it's an interesting city. Bueno, es una ciudad interesante. But you really need a car. Pero realmente necesitas un carro. Here. Otherwise, aquí. you can't go anywhere. De otra manera, no puedes ir a ninguna parte. There used to be a good bus system, but there... Eh, solía haber un buen sistema de buses. There isn't anymore. Pero ya no, ya no está. Why is that? Uh, ¿Por qué es eso? Well, I think they expect everyone to have a car. Eh, creo que ellos eh, esperaban que todo el mundo tuviera un carro. So they don't bother to provide decent bus service. Entonces ellos no se iban a, a arruinar la vida proveyendo ese servicio de buses. It's getting worse and worse. Está eh, convirtiéndose peor, cada vez peor. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. Eh, estos días, tenés que esperar por ages, es como décadas, por un bus. And when one finally shows up, y cuando uno al fin aparece, it's usually full. Está usualmente lleno. Three. Okay. Now okay. the third one. The third one. Let's, eh, la, la tercera. No me, ah, ya me acordé cuál es la tercera. Más o menos una idea de la tercera. ¿No? Familias. Eso. Family. ¿Y por qué families? Eh, estaba como dependiendo de los hijos, algo así. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué dijo de los hijos? Um, como que tenían, eran muchos o tenían problemas algo así. No, para nada, nada que ver. <ríe> when, when she was a child, eh, the, the neighborhood, in the neighborhood uh, was many children. Children, uh -huh. ajá. Yeah. And so, the children were staying, having my, having more children. Yeah. So today, so no, because uh -huh. uh, they growing up. Uh -huh. Today, uh -huh. today, no, is Spanish. Is today is not happening the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Más o menos, sí. La señora está hablando <laughs> de que que los niños se quedaban y que y que tenían más hijos, verdad? Y entonces siempre había niños jugando alrededor y y que eso le daba vida al vecindario y que pues ella extrañaba a esos niños corriendo siempre ahí, ¿verdad? La, afuera. Eso es normal, ¿verdad? Aquí pasa siempre. Siempre pasa que cuando ya se van, llegan de regreso, pero ya llegan los nietos. <ríe> ok, let's translate. Sí. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. No puedo creer que... ¿Cómo este vecindario ha cambiado? What do you mean? ¿A qué te referís? Well, when Jill and I first bought this house. Cuando Jill y yo compramos esta casa. That was almost 20 years ago, of course. Eso fue casi hace 20 años. Of course, there were supuesto, lots of young couples with children. Había un montón de parejas jóvenes con hijos, con niños. Children living on this street. Eh, viviendo en la calle, vivi o sea, viviendo sobre la misma calle. I don't see any kids out today. Yo no veo ningún niño eh, afuera ahora. That's because they've all grown up and moved. Eso significa que porque todos crecieron y se mudaron moved out of their parents' houses. De, su, de la casa de sus papás. Just about the only young children we see around here these days. Eh, los únicos hijos que vemos Ahora, en los únicos niños que vemos ahora afuera the when they come to eh, son sus nietos cuando ellos visit. vienen It's a visitarlos. A es una vergüenza. <laughs> It's a shame. Miss the sounds of kids playing. Yo extraño el sonido de los niños jugando. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Está quedándose demasiado eh, quieto. Alrededor de aquí. So that's the audio. Did you catch all of that details? Más o menos, o no? So so. <laughs> so, so. 
<laughs> so so <laughs> but i don't know if the audience is, is is following and i don't know i don't see any other things to this is families but i don't know they are speaking more let me see page 60 exercise 5 part b listen again write down the change and if things are better or worse now ah okay va a hablar de las mismas situaciones y que veamos si eh, las situaciones cambiaron o si están peor one how long have you been living here oh for over 20 years and have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. Ay, no, ya se quedó otra vez pensando eso. Yo creo que lo que está haciendo es mostrando eh, con los time eh, contrast. Él está agregando como expresiones de tiempo para ver si, si mejoró o no mejoró la situación. Si se entiende o no se entiende más. A ver aquí, por aquí. Quiet around here. Page 60, exercise five, part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around, but over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Ah, pues no, era como que la oyéramos otra vez y sí, a ver si las cosas habían mejorado para escucharla mejor. Pero ya con la traducción ya leyeron un poquito más al inglés. Yes. yes. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, lesson objective 4.9. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences with if clauses. What is an if clause? Es como si tal cosa, esta otra. O sea, si yo tuviera dinero, iría a la playa el fin de semana. Si yo... Mmm, quiero ver. Por ejemplo, si yo tuviera... Eh, o no sé, si yo fuera médico, iría a una clínica. Si yo hiciera pasteles, los vendería en las fiestas. Cosas así. O sea, como que depende de una condición. Así se llaman conditionals. Al final de esa clase, ustedes aprenderán a usar condicionales con la cláusula if. Ya ven, conditionals. O sea, se tiene que cumplir una cláusula. Son dos cláusulas. La oración primera es la, es la cláusula 1 y la oración segunda es la cláusula 2. Casi siempre van separadas por una coma. Let's see if it's, if it's true. Aquí va esta chiquilla otra vez. 
Hi, we're about to study esta, conditional así. sentences. A conditional. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Vaya, vamos a leer aquí, ya van a ver. La primera es como la situación posible y esa situación posible va en presente simple. El presente simple tenemos, eh, es el verbo en su forma original, sin cambiar, igualito, ¿verdad? Entonces ya sabemos que eh, va eh, como, eh, quiero ver, to work it, ajá, en la forma original. Y de ahí la segunda oración va, que es la consecuencia, va a ir en un futuro. Puede ser con will, con may, porque es como una posibilidad, como nosotros no estamos seguros, en el presente sí, pero ¿en qué va a pasar después? No sabemos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, if I have a, boy, if I, if I have a boyfriend, I will probably marry. O sea, yo si tuviera novio, pero como no sé, no tengo, ¿verdad? Ni sé si voy a tener o si a saber, eh, no sé si me voy a casar, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, vamos a ver la possible situation. La possible situation uno es, if you get a high paying job, ya vieron, ahí va la coma, si tú tienes un trabajo que te pague bastante bien, ¿verdad? Un high paying, you won't have to work as hard. No trabajarás, eh, no tendrás que trabajar tan duro. Eso le quiere decir. Como quien dice, si tuvieras un trabajo bueno, no tendrías que trabajar tanto, ¿verdad? Pero como no lo tienes, entonces es como una posibilidad. La segunda opción es, eh, si tú, if you don't have to work as hard, si no tuvieras que trabajar tan duro, coma, you'll have a lot of free, a, a lot of more free time. Tú ten, ten, tendrías mucho más tiempo libre. Es una posibilidad, ¿verdad? If you have a lot more free time, le va agregando, ¿verdad? Si tuvieras más tiempo libre, coma, you might get bored. Te aburrirías, posiblemente, ¿verdad? Te aburrirías. And if you get bored, you may have to look for another job. <ríe> Tendrías que buscar otro trabajo. O sea, oraleja, nadie está contento como Dios lo tiene. <laughs> o sea, possible situation. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot of more free time. If you have a lot of more, a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Esa es la situación, ¿verdad? Entonces se forma primero la, como la posible situación y la, pos, y la consecuencia dependiendo de esa posible situación. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job, consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, You may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structure used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts. If clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, 
if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. And don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, Okay, Mario, if you study English, don't forget to use might, may, <laughs> or... If I, uh -huh. if I study English, I can... I can, no. No vamos a usar can, vamos a usar I will, I oh. may, I might. I will... Um, I I will go to the um, to the vacations to England, for example. <laughs> I will go on vacations to England. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jenny. If you if you study English, what will happen? I will be speak English to another people. Okay, Catherine, if you study English, what will happen? It's not Catherine here anymore. No t-shirt, no, it's, it's missing. Oh, okay. Let's go with, with Rocio. No microphone. Okay. Asayak, what if you study English? Yo mío, nadie contesta. <laughs> no entiendo la pregunta, teacher, disculpe. Vaya, aquí es, estamos hablando de los condicionales. Si usted okay. dice, if you study English, le está preguntando a la chica acá es, si tú estudias inglés, sigue una segunda frase, esta es la frase condicional. Usted tiene que complementar la frase de consecuencia. Entonces, con ah. might, may, o will. If you study, eh, tiene que decir, if I study English, I will, I might, or I may. I will, I will, be, I will, I will to travel another country. I will to travel no existe. ¿Cómo se ocupa will? I will travel mm -hmm. another country. To another country. To another country. Okay. okay. If, I, if I study English, I will travel to another country. Okay. Muy bien. Vamos a seguir. José Jonathan. José Jonathan. Hi, teacher. Okay, can you please complete the sentence? If I study English? I will. Mm -hmm. I get a new job. I will what? I will, I get a new job. Ah, you will get a new job. Okay, yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más sigue? Alejandra. 
Can you speak? No. Ana, Ana Maria, are you able to speak? Okay. Okay, if I study English? I may to help my daughter in her classes. I may help. Uh -huh, I may help. Uh -huh, you said to help. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I may to travel and the other. May country. tú no se ocupa. Tiene que ser ah, no. el verbo. Después uh -huh. del may tal cual. I may help my daughter. I, I ah, may okay, travel. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Así como dice la primera, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces dejémosle en la primera. Okay. <laughs> I may help my daughter. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Vamos a ver, what time is it? It's 8.59, kids. Well, we will be reviewing this and this, this topic uh, tomorrow, like uh, more deeper, because it is very important for you to make if clauses. Las condicionales son bien importantes porque tiene que decir, si hago esto, podría hacer aquello. If I work hard, I will have more money for Christmas. If I make an extra time, I will save more money. If I go to the gym, I may be, I may use nice clothing for Christmas. A lot of people is making exercise right now. <laughs> if I go, if I go to the gym right now, I may be use, I may be wearing a bikini on a goggles vacation. Si me pongo las pilas y rebajo ahorita, tal vez me pongo ese bikini para agosto. ¿verdad? Tal vez todavía tengo chance. <laughs> okay, kids. Thank you for coming today. I, the, the rain has stopped. And I was worried about the rain because a lot of will not be able to connect. But fortunately, rain has stopped. So I will wait for you tomorrow. If you don't have any questions or comments about this, don't worry. We will see if classes tomorrow again to see more examples and to explain more because I think a little bit confusion is there, but uh, they are very easy. Don't worry. Okay. 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 See you tomorrow, kids. Thank you for Thank coming you. today. Thank you. See you. See you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye.